Welcome to another video in our series about cybersecurity. Today we're talking about phishing and social engineering. My name is Gareth Thomas. Remember that this webinar provides just limited general guidance. You should seek professional support for your organization. We're not talking about sitting on a cold riverbank for six hours. No, phishing with a PH describes cyber criminals trying to trick their way into your IT systems to steal data and potentially cripple your computers. They do this by sending emails and text to you and your teams. Now they can be as simple as this or even a text message, but the effect can be devastating. In a recent article, St. John Ambulance revealed that they had suffered a ransomware attack. And whilst it's not clear if this was through phishing, since 90% of all cyber attacks start with phishing, it is very likely. In all fairness, St. John's Ambulance looks like they had all the right actions in place and they were able to secure data and get running again quickly. But there are countless companies who have not been so lucky and we don't want you to be one of them. Let's look around our deep sea of fish. We've seen phishing emails are devious little devils, but the cyber criminals get even more cunning than that. Parking tickets and parcel deliveries are all great ways to snare a victim but we've even seen criminals follow up with a phone call to get you to click. Text messages often offer refunds and money. My daughter had one of these recently, but as she's only four and has never paid tax, it's pretty likely it was a con. Often criminals will try to plant bait in your team's Facebook groups, offering offers that are too good to be true, like free holidays or Range Rovers, but dig a little deeper into the page and you'll see that they've only been up a few days and probably only have a few stock photos. To get more sophisticated, criminals will take a look at your social media to get details to add to the phishing emails, like your kid's school or birthdays or your hobbies. They'll even do mega research into the big fish in your organization if they think it's worth it, a technique unflatteringly called whaling. They'll also jump onto current affairs and claim to offer insider information or updates. It's well known that criminals will pretend to be your suppliers and demand urgent payments or change legitimate bank details to their own. Always double check and follow your organization's procedures carefully, especially when it comes to payment changes. So how do you spot a phishing email or text? Well, generally, they want to make you act quickly without having time to carefully and rationally think it over. They will want you to open an attachment or click a link or perform an action. Always double check, especially if you weren't expecting the email. If the email or text offer some swag or a penalty, remember there is no such thing as a free lunch and you will not end up in prison for double checking that a parking ticket is valid. So take your time. But the best rule of thumb is, if the email gives you an emotional reaction, stop, think and check. Stop and get a cuppa. There's no rush. Think, do they even have my email address? Why should I act? Can I see the same message in my account? Is it in my Amazon or my bank or my PayPal? And check, call the sender on a known number and make sure it was definitely them that sent it to you. It gets quite dark too. We've seen a huge increase in emails that say they've got embarrassing photos of people in, well, personal situations. They say that they'll share the photos with your contacts unless you pay a ransom. Sometimes they even include a password that you may have used at some point, but is stolen from another site. I've seen many of these emails and they all look alike. So to me, it's clear that they're a scam. If you see an email that's threatening, that threatens to compromise you or asks you for Bitcoin, report it and delete it. Here's some precautions that you need to take. Take a look at your emails and if you spot a phishing email, make sure you report it to your IT department. If you don't have an IT department, just tell the people in your office so they don't fall for the same scam. Install any updates on your devices as soon as possible. Those are the proper manufacturer's updates that come through. That includes your laptops, your phones, your iPads, or any other devices that can be updated. Use an antivirus product. 
That's not the dodgy one that you've downloaded from goodness knows where. That is a proper version from the manufacturer's website or from a reputable source. And finally, make sure you've got a backup, a backup plan, literally a backup. Make sure you've got one. You can do that by searching your settings for backup. Store them safely and make sure they're encrypted so that if somebody does steal them, they can't see the information. The good news is that the government's National Cyber Security Centre has excellent up-to-date advice and guidance for all sizes of organisation. So take a look at ncsc.gov.uk. If you'd like to read about the information in this video, take a look at the accompanying fact sheet. That's all for now. See you in the next video.